All right, I haven't heard people talk about this topic very much, but there's this thing in Pro Tools called retrospective MIDI record I wanted to talk about today. All right, so I made this example session just for this video. I basically just have a stereo master fader because that's what I put on everything. If you're mixing in stereo, then you should probably have a stereo master fader. I highly recommend it. And then I have a stereo instrument track that I've called keyboard. Um, I actually just imported this from a different session. That's why it says o .01. But basically, I'm just going to show you with this simple example. I have uh, some labs uh, instruments open here. It's scary strings right now. Um, this is by Spitfire Audio. It's actually free, so I highly recommend it. Um, their whole lab suite is free, I believe. But um, they make some really great textures and sounds. And then I've plugged in my MIDI keyboard, which is right down here. And that's what I'm going to be hitting the keys on to make this noise. So for example, I can, sorry, I'm like trying to not get away from the mic too much, but. And it sounds kind of creepy because of the instrument I chose, right? But that's there. So let's say you're in a session and you hit play and you're just messing around and maybe you have a bunch of other tracks in your session and you're playing along so maybe you're just making noise anyway you get the idea you're just making a bunch of noise and let's say you actually do something that you like but you weren't recording, you were just playing back, right? So I'm gonna hit pause here, and there's actually something you can do about this. So what you can do is you can do Shift Option Z, and that will actually take the notes that you were just playing and it will put them in place where you played them, if that makes sense. So it's as if you were recording even though you are not. So as long as you're playing back and you know going through your song, Pro Tools is actually technically recording and remembering all of your MIDI notes, all of your MIDI behavior. And so even if you're just playing back and you're not recording, if you get some kind of performance that you like, you can always bring that into your timeline by doing shift option Z. So I'll just show you again. So if I hit pause and I do shift option Z, there my notes are. And now I can hit play and play them back. You'll notice I'm not playing the keyboard. And there they are. Now you can, you know, if you're in notes view like I am here, you can click and drag them around as you please. You can, you know, do all the usual stuff that you do with your MIDI. So again, that's Shift Option Z. And actually, let's let's listen without this pitch plugin on, so we can actually hear the Spitfire. How much was I pitch shifting them? Just a little bit. But that's basically it. It's called retrospective MIDI record. I didn't have to do anything to activate it. It's just running in the background and you just have to remember the shortcut to bring your your notes onto the timeline if you liked what you just did. So again, shift option Z. So I think that's about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like videos like this, if you found this useful, I would love to hear about it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of that stuff. All that stuff helps support my channel in addition to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons do get access to some additional content. We have a Discord server that that's really what I've been focusing on lately, including the book club on the Discord server. We've been having a lot of fun. So feel free to check that out. If you feel so inclined, it does support my channel. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. I, I am tired. Button. Okay, bye.